We're officially in the second half of the season here in the El Paso Toros franchise in Access Football 2023. And we're taking on a team that is fighting for a wild card spot at the moment, the Nebraska Thunder, who are sitting at 5-3 and three on the year so far. And they have one of the most well-balanced rosters in the entire league. They're pretty deep at receiver, as you probably just saw. Their offensive line is a weak point, but their defense is really good. So really, the O-line is the only weakness they have. One of the four experts picked them to win over us. The other three picked us to win. And we have a 79% chance of winning based on 1,000 simulations. So we're going to kick it off to start this game as we usually do because the CPU just refuses to want to kick after they win the toss. But anyways, here's Franklin on the return. He's going to get up to about the 24-yard line. So that's where the Thunder will set up shop. Here's a handoff to Marcos Brady. He breaks a tackle and Willie Cage is able to drag him down. But not before he gets about five. So now it's second and five. Andy Smith drops back, he throws underneath, and it's going to be caught. Tyler Wilson, the tight end, comes up with it. That'll be a new set of downs for the Thunder. So now here's Smith. Throws right side. It's going to be caught by Brady out of the backfield this time. Banks brings him down just short. That leads to a third and five. Smith gets it away. It's going to be caught by Wilson again. Already two big catches for Tyler Wilson, both for first downs. So now here's Smith. He throws underneath to Wilson once again. Jensen can't bring him down. Malcolm Doss does, but Wilson gets another first down. So three catches, three first downs for 31 yards for Wilson so far. Brady only gets a yard on first down. Now it's second down, and he gets the toss. He gets blown up in the backfield. He broke two tackles, but then Willie Cage was able to bring him down. So now third and 12. Here's the throw right side. It's going to be caught by Wilson again. This man has already proven to be a problem early on in this game. And now here's Brady on the run. This time Lowe gets him in the backfield on third down. So they have to settle for a field goal. Marco Morrison makes it from 32 yards out. And the Thunder have a 3 nothing lead. So now we have the football here. Rolf Rudolph gets the pitch and he gets blown up in the backfield. He loses two. Then he gets blown up again. Two straight losses. Then we get called for a false start. So now here is Jesse Higgins letting it fly. And it's going to be tipped away incomplete. So we go three and out to start the game. So now, Nebraska has the ball again. Here's the throw left side to Franklin. He's going to go up the left sideline. Chad Franklin is going to get into the end zone. Our defense just completely foobarred that entire play. So now, Nebraska has a 10 nothing lead. So now we look to bounce back here. As Rudolph gets to the outside this time, and he's able to pick up the first down on a 15-yard gain. So now here's another handoff to Rudolph. He gets to the outside again. This time, Rudolph into Thunder territory. He'll get inside the 40. So now first and 10 from the 38. Here's the play fake by Higgins. He's looking down the field. Let's him fly to a wide open Jacob Spain. Touchdown, Toros. And we are now down by just three with under two minutes to go in the first. So now we'll see how Nebraska responds. Here's a throw deep over the middle. And that is going to be caught. Malcolm Dawson could not cover Chester Black there. And now the Thunder are in good position to get yet another score. But now it's second and nine. Here's Smith under pressure. He breaks a sack. Tries to scramble, and he's going to be brought down for the sack. And that'll be the final play of the first quarter as Nebraska goes into the second quarter with a 10-7 lead. So now here's Smith. Here's a throw over the middle, and it's going to be caught by Wilson. He's going to be tackled just short of the 10, but that'll be enough for the first down by a long shot. Now here's the throw left side, and that's nearly picked off, but Brady makes the grab. That'll be another first down. Now, second goal. Brady breaks a tackle from Banks, and he's going to get in for the touchdown. And Nebraska takes a 17-7 lead. So now we're back on offense here as Higgins throws underneath. That's going to be caught by Austin Scott. Gets up to the 31. That leads to a second and three. Here's a handoff to Rudolph. He's going to get brought down in the backfield again. It just seems like Rudolph has not been able to run as efficiently as he was earlier in the season. But now it's third down. And Higgins is going to scramble, and he's going to be tackled just short of the first down marker. But you know what? Scared money don't make none. So we're going to go for it. Rudolph gets to the outside, and he picks up the first down. So we lucked out there because it looked like he was going to get blown up. So I'll take it. Higgins will throw right side. That's nearly picked off on third down. So now Nebraska has the ball after that fourth down conversion. It really went for naught. But now Brady's getting tackled in the backfield by Tyrone Long. That'll lead to a second down. Here's a counter to Brady, and he is 
absolutely clobbered in the backfield this time. Now it's going to be third and 19. Smith lets it fly deep over the middle, but it's incomplete. So Nebraska is going to have to punt it away as Charles Blair kicks it from out of the end zone. Back to return, of course, is Kenneth Pikachu Jones. He's going to get the return, and he's going to get it into Nebraska's territory inside the 40. So we'll set up shop at the 38 to be exact. Here's Higgins on the play fake. He lets it fly to the end zone, and it's going to be caught. Austin Scott with the touchdown grab, getting both feet in bounds. And now we are down just three halfway through the second quarter. Here's Brady on the run. He'll get a nice gain of about six. That'll lead to a third and three. But then Marcus Johnson jumps off sides. And yes, obviously that was my fault. But, you know, immersion. We're going to blame it on Johnson. They get the first down either way. And now Brady will pick up a couple. But that was a really good tackle by Willie Cage. So now second and eight. And Smith under pressure breaks a sack. And he's going to be brought down this time. There was a holding call as well, but we're going to take the down and distance, and so now it's going to be third and 15. Smith lets it fly, and he has Franklin who comes down with it, but they're going to get called for another holding call. So it's going to be third and 25 now, so we're just going to back everybody up. Smith looks down the field, and it's going to be tipped away. So Nebraska has to punt it away. So now we have the ball once again as Rudolph gets the pitch, and he's going to get a nice gain and gets inside Thunder territory once again. We're under three minutes to go in the first half as Higgins looks down the field, lets it fly. Scott comes down with it, and that'll be another touchdown for him as we take the lead after being down 17-7 in this game. So it's 21-17, and now Nebraska is trying to get the first down on the ground as it's a nice game by Brady. So now it's going to be second and two, and Smith's going to be brought down for the sack as that's going to be Hamilton who got to him. That'll lead to a third and 11. And they'll just give it to Brady, and he has nowhere to go. He was not going to get those 11 yards no matter what. They get a nice punt, however, and now we have the ball at the 10-yard line. Higgins lets it fly over the middle, caught by Spain. He'll get up to the 41. But now with 37 seconds to go, third and 10, Rudolph's going to get the handoff, and he goes nowhere. So Nebraska will get the ball back with about 18 seconds to go. Third and three, Smith lets it fly over the middle, and it's caught by Garner. He's going to get deep into our territory before Banks brings him down inside the 20. So now they have a chance to make it a one-point game going into the half, and it's going to be good. So it's 21-20 to 20 at halftime. And overall, the Thunder are playing about as well as I thought they would. They're a very well-balanced team. Now, they're not running the ball as well as I thought they would, but they're passing the ball pretty well with Andy Smith being able to find his receivers. So we're gonna have to find a way to slow down this passing game if we're gonna hold on to this lead. Go. Now we're into the second half, it's second and six. Here's the counter as Rudolph is gonna reach out and pick up the first. So now we're up to the 43, first and 10, hand off to Rudolph again. He gets to the outside, gets into Thunder territory once again as it'll be yet another first down. So now we're up to the 45 and Higgins is brought down immediately on the blitz as Fox gets to him. Now it's going to be second and 17. Here's Rudolph on the handoff. He cuts it back to the left, and he has plenty of space past the 30, and he's going to get inside the 20 before finally being brought down at about the 12-yard line. So now it's a third and seven, and here's Higgins. He looks underneath. He's going to find Rudolph, and Rudolph jumps over a defender. Good Lord. That's going to be a touchdown for us, and that was just a hell of a play by Rudolph as a whole. So it's 28 to 20 now. Here's a throw underneath the Franklin, and he's going to get tackled just short of the first down marker. That was going to be third and inches, hand off to Brady, and I swear I stopped him short of the first down marker, but they're going to give him the first down regardless, so thanks, Axis. Anyways, Brady's going to run up the middle now, and he picks up about seven, so now it's going to be second and three. Another hand off to him, low slows him down, and then Cage finishes the job, so that'll lead with third and seven. And Smith will throw right side, is caught by Little for the first down as they are in our territory. Now Brady gets the handoff. He's going to fight forward, but he's tackled short of the first, so that'll lead to a third and three. Smith throws over the middle, and it's caught by Hanson. He's going to get inside the 15. And to add insult to injury, Jack Trice gets called for a face mask, so now they have the ball inside the 10 as Brady jumps over a defender, but Long's able to tackle him from behind. That was third down, so they have to settle for a field goal, and this one is just barely inside the left upright. So it's 28 to 23 now. We have two minutes to go in the third quarter. Here's a throw underneath to Hoffman, who's going to pick up the first down 
up to the 41. So now here's Higgins. Thrown underneath again. This time Josh Ho makes the grab, and he's going to get across midfield and get the first down as well. So now here's Higgins. Logan down the field. He lets it fly. It's going to be caught by Scott, who's had a huge game so far. Breaks the tackle. Doesn't get to the end zone this time, but still a hell of a play. We get to the one-yard line before we end the third quarter, and now we are knocking on the door here as Higgins drops back. First play of the fourth. And he's going to try to scramble, and he's going to get caught from behind for the sack. So now it's a third and goal from the 11. Higgins drops back, looks over the middle for Spain, and he's going to make the grab for the touchdown. We now have our biggest lead of the game so far at 12 points as it's 35-23. to 23. Brady gets the handoff. He's trying to fight his way for the first, but he's finally brought down, and they go three and out. So now we have a chance to put this game on ice completely. And there's a big dot over the middle of the Scott, who's had such a great game so far. That'll lead to a first down. Now, here's a dump off underneath to Rocky, and Tyler Rocky picks up the first down. And now here is Higgins. Looks underneath. That's nearly picked off, but Rocky makes another grab. Rocky's not even really supposed to be a receiving back, but he's just making some plays today in the receiving game as... Rudolph gets stopped for a loss. Now it's third and seven. He gets another handoff. Gets to the outside, but he's slowed down, and he's brought down just past the 20. So we'll settle for a field goal from Tyson Grant. He's able to make it, so now it is 38-23. The Thunder still have a chance at coming back in this game, and there's a big play to Chester Black for the first down as the Thunder are now in our territory once again. Here's Smith. Under pressure, breaks a sack. He's going to scramble, and he runs right into Jack Trice, and he gets the sack. That'll lead to a third and 14. As Smith drops back, throws underneath, into double coverage, and is knocked away. They decide to punt it away, and that probably wasn't the best decision, although they did get a big stop there on Rudolph. That leads to a third and 16. Higgins will throw it deep into double coverage, and Scott comes down with it. This man is such a beast. I get that we're mainly a running team, but Austin Scott has really been clutch for us this year. But what's really not clutch is Rolf Rudolph losing all those yards. But now it's third and 23. Higgins lets this one fly, and it's going to be caught by Spain this time. And that'll be another first down. So about under four minutes to go. And here's a deep throw to the end zone, and it's caught by Spain. But it's going to come back on a holding call against Elliot Moody. So... It probably works out because it gives us more time to try to run clock down before we score. But now Higgins is going to be brought down for the sack. That's going to lead to a second and 26. Higgins on the play fake. He'll dump it off to Josh Ho. Has plenty of space up the right sideline. He's going to pick up the first down, and he slides down. So a hell of a play on second and 26. So now we're going to try to run the clock down. And Rudolph's tackled short of the first down. But we're going to go for it on fourth and three because we really have nothing to lose. And Rudolph's going to pick it up, and he slides down. That ices the game for us as we're going to win this one 38-23. Andy Smith had a really good game for them, but it wasn't enough to get them the victory as Jesse Higgins had a hell of a game. 19-27, 391 yards, and five touchdown passes. Scott had 201 yards and two touchdowns on seven catches. Not bad for a team that's supposed to be a running team, right? So we improved to 8-1 on the season while the Thunder dropped to 5-4, and, and they are on the outside looking in the wild card race in the American Conference, and National Conference is looking pretty much the same right now. Our next opponents are going to be the Houston Bombers, who just absolutely decimated the Green Bay Axemen, a team that we got blown out by. So that's not looking really good, but what is looking good is Jesse Higgins winning Offensive Player of the Week, so salute to him. And salute to all of you that made it to the end of this video. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure you guys hit that like button. Hit the sub button if you do. Turn your notifications on to join the notification gang. And check out the playlist and the video in front of you. And if you made it to the end of this video, comment horns up in the comment section.